Hello Retroburn here. I'm going to benchmark the Extreme G350.12 driver. Extreme G's are third party tweak drivers that you can get from tweakforce.com. I've been using them for well over three, five years, and so far I've had very satisfactory experience with the drivers. Uh, they improve your, your PC's image quality. They make the they make your graphics crisper without uh, compromising the frames the frame rate of what your video card can handle so the drivers aren't there to optimize your frame rate but rather strike a balance between um, improved image quality and uncompromised frame rate so um, here we go so this is an experiment of what's better the um, WHQL version of the 3 350.12 drivers and the Extreme G tweaked ones so we're going to expect that the Extreme G will have a bit of it will take a hit where frame rate is concerned but I don't know if you can see it from here but definitely the image quality is definitely better than the WHQL ones. For more information about um, the drivers you can visit uh, tweakforce.com or you can see my the description box below if you're viewing this on YouTube. And I forgot to turn on my speakers. Um, there you go. So for more benchmarking videos, uh, you can click on the link pointing to this video's playlist. Or if you're viewing this on YouTube, you can view the cards. Sorry about this, phone just rang.
got an average frame rate of 121.990 frames per second. It's quite a feat considering that uh, the creator of the Extreme G, G drivers have introduced a better image quality to my PC's graphics, but I think it's a bit it's even a bit higher than the WHQL version.